हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द माई स्मार्ट क्लास यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम योर फ्रेंड डॉक्टर निलेश कुमार वाला एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ द फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री सो बिफोर द स्केपिंग और लिविंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दैस दिस वीडियो इज नॉट फॉर यू इफ यू आर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ टेंथ इलेवन ट्वेल्थ और एम एस सी स्टूडेंट दिस वीडियो इज ओनली फॉर माई स्टूडेंट हु आर इन माई कॉलेज इन द टी वाई बी एस सी okay so if you are not part of this all thing then you can leave this a uh, video only not a channel because your interested topic will be coming to the next video and you can comment in the uh, comment box that which kind of video do you want so let's come to the main topic that this video is for the clausius mosatis equation so this topic is covered in uh, physical chemistry and it is very lengthy topic and uh, it is difficult to understand so to simplify and to help my student i make this video and i derive their equation in the simplest form so it will be the very helpful for the student of tybsc okay so third year students focus on this topic and prepare this completely equation okay so let's get started so student we are at now in my laptop screen and the heading is clausius mosatis equation by the my smart class so let's understand what is the clausius mosatis equation so the relationship between the polarizability of a molecule alpha and the dielectric constant epsilon r of the medium between the plate of a capacitor is given by mosatis and clausius and it is known as a clausius mosatis equation so let's understand a capacitor in which the two plates are there and if there is a nothing between two plates that means it is a vacuum so that electric field that strength of electric field is considered as a e0 suppose we place any non polar medium between this two plate of the capacitor and so that will be called as electric field is a e as we know that this e is a smaller than e0 and from the electrostatistics we can give that equation that e0 is equal to e plus 4 pi phi so this relationship is given by electrostatistics okay so as you know that e0 is a electric field strength when there is a vacuum between the two plates and e is a electric field strength when there is a non polar medium is placed between the two plates and p is called as a dielectric polarization so now if we place this e over the left side of the equal to so this plus become minus so equation become e0 minus e is equal to 4 pi p and now we are going to divide this equation this equation by e so we got e0 by e minus e by e is equal to 4 pi p by e from the equation we know that e by e is equal to 1 okay so we are going to write e0 by e Minus one is equal to four pi p by e. Now the value of p polarizability, or we can say the dielectric polarization, is equal to n mu i. Here n is equal to number of molecule per unit volume of a dielectric material, and mu i is a electric moment of the induced dipole. Okay. So now we are replacing the value of p by n mu i. Okay. So we are getting the equation e zero by e. Minus one four pi in the place of p we are getting what n mu i and the e is remaining as it is. Now uh, this equation is placed like this way. Okay, four pi n mu i by e. Now I am going to remove this equal uh, minus one over the right side. Okay, so this minus become plus over the right side. So we are getting the equation e zero by e is equal to This one is minus one is going over the right side, so minus one become plus one, so one plus four pi n mu i by e. Now we are replacing the two terms, e zero by e considered as a e r relative electric field strength e r, and mu i by e is going to replace by alpha d. So we are getting the equation e zero by e is replaced by e r, one as it is, and four pi n as it is. But mu i by e is replaced by what? Alpha d as over here, right? So this is the part one or section one of the this theory. In the second part, we have to find out the average internal electric field strength that is indicated by E E, and it is given by E zero 
that is uh, due to the field charge 4 by 3 pi p due to the induced charge of a spherical cavity and minus 4 pi p due to the induced charge on the surface of dielectric so we have to do the summation of all of these three but this is plus this is plus and this is minus so we are getting e e is equal to e0 plus 4 by 3 pi p minus 4 pi p okay so now we know that we have one equation that is equal to e0 is equal to e plus 4 pi p and here is e0 so we are substituting the value of e0 over here as e plus 4 pi p so now i am getting e is equal to e plus 4 pi p plus 4 by 3 pi p and minus 4 pi p over here so from the equation you can see that this is plus 4 pi p and this is minus 4 pi p so they can be erase it or we can say the this term is going to remove so our equation become e is equal to e plus 4 by 3 pi p now we know one thing that e0 by e is also called as a epsilon r so e0 is equal to what e plus sorry e0 by e is equal to epsilon r so e0 is equal to what e epsilon r multiplication e is going over the right side so now as we know that e0 having what value e plus epsilon r so this can be replaced over here okay so substituting the value of e0 in the equation e0 minus e is equal to 4 pi p so e epsilon r is going to add over here okay so we are getting e epsilon r minus e is equal to 4 pi p so e is a common so we are getting e r epsilon r minus 1 is equal to 4 pi p so this is a value of what 4 pi p and in this equation we are adding the value of what 4 pi p so this is the another part okay that we have to stop over here and this 4 pi p value is we are going to add over here so finally we are going to write e is equal to e plus 4 by 3 pi p and here we have 4 pi p and we are going to replace the 4 pi p value by e epsilon r minus 1 so now this equation become e is equal to what e plus e epsilon r minus 1 by 3 okay so now we are getting what we are going to do so now let's separate this whole equation so e is that is e is that is e multiplied by epsilon r by 3 over here e minus 1 by 3 so due to this minus this term become what negative now uh, e and minus e by 3 so we are going to solve this term okay because this term having only e now so we are getting the answer of this is equal to what 3 e minus e by 3 that is equal to 2 e by 3 okay so we can change uh, replace this e minus e by 3 by what 2 e by 3 so our equation this equation become what e is equal to uh, epsilon e r by 3 plus 2 e by 3 so now e is equal to what what is the common thing 3 is common so we are replace, uh, we are uh, placing it at the denominator this is epsilon r this is 2 and common is e so e is common is a separate from this uh, bracket so remaining thing is e r epsilon r here is a 2 e is a common and divided by 3 okay so now this is the second part that we have to end and now we are moving to the third part that mu i is equal to what alpha d into e as you know that we have the value of e so if we need a mu i so we just have to add the value of e e and that value is what epsilon r plus 2 by 3 into e so we get the value of mu i is equal to what alpha d into epsilon r plus 2 by 3 into e and we know that p is equal to what n mu i in the beginning of this theory we said the value of p is equal to n mu i so if we need the value of p we have to just multiply mu i with what n and we have the value of mu i over here as you can see so i am placing the n as it is and mu i value from here and that is equal to what alpha d epsilon r plus 2 by 3 into e now this e on the right side i am keeping uh, uh, taking it toward the left side from the left side of the equal to so this multiplication becomes what division so p by is equal to what n alpha d epsilon r plus 2 by 3 okay so and one more thing that uh, from this way we know that 4 pi p is equal to what e epsilon r minus 1 is equal to what 4 pi p so from this uh, here 
P by E is equal to what? Epsilon R minus 1 upon 4 pi. Keep E in the below side and 4 pi over this way. So we are getting P by E is equal to what? Epsilon R minus 1 upon 4 pi. Now this P by E value can be replaced over here. So we can replace P by E is equal to what? Epsilon R minus 1 upon 4 pi. So our this equation become what? ER minus 1 upon 4 pi is equal to N alpha D ER plus 2 by 3. Now I am keeping this over the left side and this over the right side. So this equation become what? ER minus 1 upon ER plus 2 is equal to what? 4 going to this side. So 4 by 3. N is as it is. Alpha D. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and it is multiplied by pi. So we are uh, concluding this equation what? ER minus 1 upon ER plus 2 is equal to 4 by 3 pi n alpha d okay <clears throat> and this is not a final equation because we are going to add some new physical quantities that is a density <coughs> sorry uh, actually my health is not good but i have to prepare this video for my students so rho is considered as a density of the substance m is equal to molar mass now the number of molecules n in the unit volume is given by what Na rho by m here Na is a Avogadro number so in the equation I am going to replace n by what Na rho by m so as it is er minus 1 upon er plus 2 is equal to 4 by 3 pi n alpha d now n is replaced by what Na rho by m okay now let's do one more thing keep rho by m sides and solve this equation so we are getting 4 pi 3 pi Na alpha d rho by m so we are going to take this rho by m over the left side from the equal to so this rho by m become what m by rho and our equation comes to the what er minus 1 upon er plus 2 m by rho is equal to 4 by 3 pi n a alpha d and that is equal to pi in this polarization or we can say this the above equation is called as a clausius mosatis equation so we have to derive this equation when the question is asked about the derivation of the clausius mosatis equation. I think uh, I have done it. Okay. And uh, if you have any doubt, you can pause the video and see the whole derivation. Okay. Again, I am going to uh, revise all the things. Okay. So see here what I have done. Okay. Slowly, I am going to scroll it down. So you can easily understand first of all we've gone for what e0 then we got the value of e0 by e okay then we place the value of p is equal to n mu i then we get the e0 by is equal to 1 plus 4 pi n mu i by e then we substitute the value of what e0 by is equal to epsilon r and mu i by is equal to alpha d so the equation become what er is equal to 1 plus 4 pi n alpha d so this was the first part of this derivation and then we have to move to the second part and from that we get the e is equal to what e0 plus 4 by 3 pi p minus 4 pi p we substitute the value of e0 as a e plus 4 pi p so 4 pi p minus 10 plus is removed so we get e e is equal to what e plus 4 by 3 pi p e0 by is equal to er <coughs> epsilon r so e0 is equal to what e into er that is substituted and we got the value e is, is into er minus 1 is equal to 4 pi p okay are you getting or not i think you are getting i am going too fast but don't worry so e is equal to e plus 4 by 3 pi p again you know that okay so i am scrolling down scrolling down okay now answer of this 2 is equal to what 2 e by 3 that substituted e is equal to er plus 2 by 3 into e that also we know now we add the new term mu i and that e value is placed over here okay so we got what mu i then after mu i we are have to add what new term p p is equal to what n mu i now p by is equal to n alpha d er plus 2 by 3 again what we replace p by e and p by is equal to what er minus 1 upon 4 pi okay and after that we getting this equation er minus 1 upon er plus 2 4 by 3 pi n alpha d but again we have to add what new term that is a density and n is equal to n a rho by m so that n is replaced by n a rho by m okay 
then rho by m is going towards the left side and this is the our final equation er minus 1 upon er plus 2 m by rho is equal to 4 by 3 pi n a alpha d that is equal to pi okay i know i go very fast but this is the important equation so we have to learn it okay so all the best and try to learn thank you and one more thing if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe okay i need your support thank you